So in the last video, we learned to identify the different parts of an argument and tried to understand the structure of logical arguments. And in doing so, we were relying on an intuitive understanding of what the argument was trying to establish and how it was structured and so on. Uh, but as it turns out, in English, there's a number of words that can actually help key you in to whether a particular sentence in a text is supposed to be a premise or a conclusion. So in this video, we'll look at some of those words, uh, which make it easier to analyze arguments. So first we'll look at some words that signal the conclusion of an argument. Let's take a look at this argument. If Dave is home, then his lights must be on. Dave's lights are not on, so Dave must not be home. Okay, very simple argument like the ones that we've looked at previously. Uh, what I want to focus on now is this word so, which we see in uh, statement C. Um, this word isn't really adding any new information to the statement, right? There's not really a difference in information content between saying Dave must not be home and saying so Dave must not be home. So the word so isn't exactly stating any information, it's just guiding you to the fact that C is actually the conclusion of the argument. So it's an indicator um, that we're dealing with a conclusion. Just to look at another example to give you the idea, here's an argument that goes, if Dave is at work, his car would be in the parking lot. Dave's car is not in the parking lot, therefore Dave must not be at work. So here again I want to focus on the word therefore that we see in the final statement. Once again, this isn't really saying anything about Dave or about the situation. It's a you know kind of discourse connective, which is just letting you know that this sentence, Dave must not be at work, is a conclusion relative to the rest of the text. So these words like so and therefore, there's actually others like them and we're just going to list them here to give you an idea. And once you see these as you're trying to analyze English sentences into their logical structure, when you come across these words, it can be very helpful in clarifying whether we're dealing with a conclusion. So these words are words like so, hence, therefore, thus, consequently, as a result, and it follows that. Right? There are others like this, and so we won't give an exhaustive list, but these are some of the more common ones you'll see. And you know, hopefully you could get the intuition that when you see these words, what is to come is something that has been inferred from what has come before. Uh, it's the result of an inference. It's the result of uh, deduction. Right? That's what a lot of these words are getting at. So keep an eye out for these as we're doing our uh, analysis of English sentences, and it'll make the task a lot easier. Okay, so we've looked at some words that help you identify conclusions. Uh, there's also some that key you in to the presence of a premise. So let's look at this argument. Alice is a teacher. Since all teachers are friendly, Alice is friendly. Okay, so here I've actually broken up the sentence, since all teachers are friendly, Alice is friendly, into two sentences um, because the word since is actually telling you that the, st the statement all teachers are friendly is a premise. But since is a sentence connective, it has to be joined by another sentence. So um, Alice is friendly is part of that sentence, but it's actually logically a separate thing because B is really stating a premise and C is what you are inferring from that premise. Okay, so <clears throat> even though it is grammatically one sentence, we are analyzing it to two different parts here. And since is the key word that we're interested in, uh, which tells you that since A, B means that A is supposed to provide reasons for B, which is exactly what a premise is supposed to do with respect to a conclusion. So since is a very strong indicator that you're dealing with a premise. Um, because it's always part of a more complex sentence, you'll have to pay attention to where the cutoff is, right, between the first part of the sentence and the second part of the sentence, um, because only part of it might be the premise. But it's a very useful word. And uh, let's look at another kind of example. Here we have another basic argument. Bob likes jam. Furthermore, Carol likes jam. 
So Bob and Carol like the same thing. And here the keyword that we're focusing on is the word furthermore. Um, this clearly signals a premise because it's saying in addition, right, adding new information. Uh, a conclusion is supposed to be something that doesn't add new information but just draws out the information that's contained in the premises. So by saying furthermore or in addition or also or things like that, you're saying, okay, here's some more new information. So that's most likely to be a premise rather than a conclusion. Uh, going back briefly to our observations about conclusions, unfortunately these keywords don't help you differentiate whether we are dealing with an intermediate conclusion or with the main conclusion of an argument. So to get a sense of that, you really have to be paying attention to what the argument is overall trying to do. So here are some words that can key you into the existence of a premise. In addition, furthermore, since, because, given that, in that, for, and in as much as. Uh, so whenever you see these, some, some of them can have different meanings in different contexts, like for obviously can mean a lot of different things depending on the context, but if you say um, the party must have been fun for everyone is leaving with a smile. The for everyone is leaving with a smile is giving a reason to believe that the party must have been fun. So that's the sense in which for can be used to signal a reason or a premise. Okay, so we've looked at some of these. Again, we haven't given a completely exhaustive list, but these are just supposed to help you get a feel for when you're trying to analyze an argument, what part of the argument are we dealing with at a given moment. Um, so it's good to pay attention to these as we proceed.